Tell us about that old Walnut Street. Were you ever, were you, were you ever part of that, or was it already sort of uh, over? Yeah, 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 yeah. Movie. There's three movie theaters, if I remember correctly. Uh, there were eating establishments. Uh, there were bars and restaurants and different things up and down Walnut Street. I think Mammoth Insurance Company was right down there anchoring it, and there were some other businesses like that. When they brought that through, uh, at the time, we were opposed to that. And that was over, and you must recall, this happened all across the United States. They wiped out uh, these communities. And, and when I say communities, I'm talking about business districts. These were business areas Black that they were wiping. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is what they were doing. So that misguided or intentional act, which I'm not sure what it was, uh, was very destructive to the next generation. See, a lot of people think that uh, wealth is about getting a good job. Wealth is a generational piece. It's what that previous generation pushes over to the next generation that builds upon it, that pushes over to the next generation, et cetera. When they did that, they wiped out the capacity. I'm not, I can't tell you that would have gone to the next generation. Some of it would, I'm sure. But they, they knocked out the ability to transfer that wealth. And some of those kids that came, that were benefiting from the businesses there, that went off to college and went off to work somewhere, et cetera, had no place to build back on in terms of transference of wealth and building on that historical foundation. Now, that's the way I interpret it, and that's the way I look at it. So, and it's, 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 it's similar to the bane of uh, the African-American community and people who are generally in poverty. And I say African-American community, I'm talking about a significant portion of it. And that is this transference of generational wealth is fundamentally, uh, uh, it's a fundamental issue as to why uh, uh, increased numbers of people are not doing well now because the foundations were cut off. And this was an example of that process uh, in retrospect and even at the time as we looked at that. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Walnut Street was the name of the area, but it radiated out. The Beach Terrace was there. But what about the side street where there were these black homeowners on Chestnut Street and, and all of these places well, that existed? I, 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 don't, I don't know if I can adequately address that. I don't think I was that aware of, of that at that particular time. I do know that there were communities like uh, down Wanted, down Chestnut on the 23rd Street from 18th Street on down west um, that were thriving. There was excellent housing. They were stable as a community as I've just described to you that I grew up in uh, on Orangeby Street and on Winrose Way. Um, uh, in fact, Jim Blaine Hudson came out of one of those communities as well. Um, in that area that we're talking about. Uh, Lyman Johnson lived, uh, Lyman T. Johnson, who um, was a, a great educator and civil rights activist during the time, uh, lived in that area as well. Uh, but I can't tell you about the adjacent areas